World War I, Bolshevik Revolution, the Spanish flu, the typhus epidemic, global economic depression, the rise of fascism, Stalin's tyranny, great famine, World War II, the Holocaust. These are some of the major events that define the first part of the 20th century. Events that my great grandmother born in Russia in 1915 lived through. COVID-19, the major disaster that occurred in the 21st century during my lifetime. The only widespread catastrophe most American kids my age have experienced. Yet I constantly see kids complaining about how tough life has become. Now, imagine being born in the year 1915. Just before you're born, World War I begins. You are three when it ends with 20 million dead. Soon, a global pandemic of the Spanish flu wipes over 50 million people and you're a five-year-old survivor. When you reach 14, you live through the global economic crisis and unimaginable famine. When you're 18, the Nazis come to power. You are 24 when World War II begins. It ends when you're 30, with 60 million people dead, including those you loved. Isn't it remarkable how a small change in our perspective can totally change the way we see our lives? How awareness of the world's past changes our view on our present. Now, undoubtedly, COVID-19 has been an evil murder that took the lives of many. Believe me, I know, as my father has been at forefront of the fight against the virus, saving his patients' lives while risking his own. And I know that it wasn't easy for you and your family. However, despite all the hardships we encounter, Today, while staying quarantined, we are still able to enjoy all the comforts of our modern world. We can remain in the safety of our homes where we have electricity, running water, Wi-Fi, and even Netflix. None of that was available during World War II when my great grandmother had to work 14 hour shifts in a freezing factory seven days a week at night. She had to guard the rooftops for Nazi bombers and be ready to grab her baby daughter to run for safety. As American kids of today's generation, we are privileged to live in a world where we see war as cool fighting featured in movies and video games. The characters hit and shoot at each other, yet they show little to no signs of being hurt. Many kids actually believe that this is what happens in real life. We are so fortunate to grow up believing that experiencing hunger means not having chips in the house. Well, this is a great gift. It is also the indication of how clueless we are about the real world with its real problems. Just think about it. Complaints such as, I hate wearing a mask, are nothing compared to, um, I'm hungry. I don't think I can walk to our next hiding place. We haven't eaten in days. I believe that when we can't change our circumstances, we need to change our perspective by expanding our knowledge of the world around us and the world that has been. Especially because we are a nation of immigrants who came from all over the world, we should take advantage of our diversity and learn the history of our ancestors. So today, we, the kids of the 21st century, need guidance from our parents and educators, from you, 
please share with us your life experiences and your parents' life stories so that we can learn from them. And instead of being pulled into the negativity and fear, we can become more appreciative to be living in the modern world with all that it offers. Help us recognize that even though 2020 was not the year to get everything we wanted, it was the year to appreciate everything that we had. So let's remind ourselves about how fortunate we are to have all that we have in our lives, even in the midst of our hardships. This will help us stay strong. Let's remind ourselves to be awoken and open to the world around us and the history of our ancestors. This will help us stay together.